Yep, it's me right now. Maybe the whole time. <laughs> and you got anyways, guys, welcome to the study you brew. It is episode 740. I'm gonna go back home to my spot over there. Feels so much better over there than it does over here. So I'm gonna go back to my spot. One second, one second. There we go. Now I feel like I'm at home. Hey guys. <laughs> All right, guys. So, yes, Andy, um, football. What can I say? What can I say about football? It's football camp, and, and it, there, it was a fiasco. It was a mess. But um, the, the guys were supposed to be on campus until, like, 10 o'clock. And then, like, at 8.30 or 8.20, they're like, hey, um, we're ready to go home. Andy's like, uh, I'm not ready for you to go home. Anyways, so he's on his, he's on his way home, so he might he'll be a little bit late. But guys, it was an amazing weekend. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend as well. For the members last night, we really, we really truly hit um, the mindset hard. Um, I, I I felt bad like afterwards. Um, definitely felt a little. <laughs> I was like, I think we were a little rough on the uh on the members last night and and it and it's all coming from a place of of um tough coaching i don't know how you could do tough coaching and and, and a positive mindset but but it's true and and guys um it really it really does come to that for for the most part it's 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 a lot of work it is it doesn't have to be a long amount of work it just has to be intentional work. And, and that's basically what we talked about and, and having that positive mindset. And guys, positive mindset is not, yay, I'm studying. It's not that, it's just more like, it's the reaction to, let's say scores. It's the reaction to getting a question wrong, right? And so anyways, we hit on that yesterday and it was awesome and it was it was amazing. Uh, like I said, it was tough love last night. But, um, but anyways, guys, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Let's talk about being part of the Kona program, getting the uh, show on the road. By the way, I'm Brandy. <laughs> um, I'm not the one that sits in the background <laughs> and does all that work. That's Andy, right? He likes to say that, you know, you guys are just here for me, but honestly, if it wasn't for him, then um, you guys wouldn't be here. So anyways, let me share my screen, guys. Let's get started. I'm gonna run through this stuff really quick, get to some other things i was like is it gonna do another plugin i swear zoom updated last night and it's been like three plugins since then but anyways guys all right so the kona system that's right guys we have our own online program right we do our own we teach it our own way we try to cut off all the fat all the excess all the stuff you don't need right so that way it gets right to the point gets to the keywords so if you're wondering, well, is it the same old, same old? No, I mean the content, I guess, but the way we teach it, no, of course not. It's different. Um, we have what we like to call original content. Yes, guys, I took all of that complicated stuff and I was like, you know what? There has to be a way to simplify this stuff. I did it for me. I could do it for other people. And that's exactly what we did. So we have online on-demand courses so you can have classes when you need to have them. We've got live sessions where it kind of duplicates that classroom feel. It's only an hour it's during the day, right? We got two per class. We have study guides that are meant to replace big, thick books. We got study guides that are both work that both work with our courses and work independently. It's awesome. Their eBooks are $20 each. We have an orientation replay that explains all of those goodies. We will be updating that. And then we got this amazing free Kona community guys. It's free. I'm going to mention it again. It's free. It's not a waste of time over there. Guys, people post questions. They post answers. Uh, they organize study groups, right? It's from coast to coast, from, you know, east to west and north to south. Guys, it's amazing over there, right? Um, that's where you can find me at Brandy. I did just uh, get um, updated with all my messages. Guys, you can uh, scan that link in the chat or hit the QR code. Um, there's our link tree right there. We also have a telegram that's meant for just postings, right? You, you guys, we just post up there. And then of course, if you guys want to talk to somebody, that somebody would be my husband. 
my partner, Andy, 866-HEY-KONA or 866-439-5662. All right, guys, just as a quick reminder, the Tuesday live sessions, we have the SIE starting off at 7 a.m. in Hawaii, 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Central, and 1 p.m. in the East. And from our members, by special request, we are going to talk about order processing. Now there's this new thing. Well, I guess it's not really new. <laughs> Bernie Madoff made it popular, but there's this thing called process for order flow that's that's popping up on the on the financial advisor exam. So I just want to kind of mention that tomorrow as well as kind of like an honorary mention, just in case you guys see it. But we're gonna talk about orders tomorrow. And then later on, a couple hours later for the series 26, we got um, at 9 a.m. Hawaii, 12 p.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Mountain, 2 p.m. Central, and 3 p.m. in the East. We are going to talk about, man, I just wrote it out. Why can I not remember what we're talking about tomorrow? I remember it's about supervision, but what about supervision? We are talking about reporting, what the firms need to report, all of their documents that need they need to report on a quarterly and annual basis. So that's what we are going to talk about tomorrow. Now, guys, if you are not following us on Instagram, I cannot do it the way he does it. I wish you would. Because when they let us know, <laughs> they send a picture. Guys, we add another one to the Kona Hall of Fame. And that's right, we added another one today. Congratulations to Jason Croft passing his series six today. Woo! Right? Awesome. We're so super excited, guys. If you want, you guys want to talk about somebody who is relentless and perseveres, man, that is definitely Crofty. He gave us permission. That's what we call him, right? So guys, I am going to turn it over to him so he can tell us what he did to pass. Let me find you real quick. I'm going to ask you to unmute. All right, Jason, go ahead and take it away. Thanks, Brandy. No, I just want to say thank you to everybody here um, on Kona. You guys are great to work with and then really just what helped me following the coaching um listening to what brandy and andy were saying and then putting it into play um sometimes as athletes we struggle to be coachable because we've been coached before and uh you need to take a slice of humble pie and follow what they're doing because they know what they're talking about um when we put these things in play it just changes everything and i remember um one time kristen abog was saying, you know, keep put yourself in the situation. And Brandy put her, said, put yourself in the situation that it's going to be like on the test. The past week, I've been doing everything I can, either going to the library, getting in a quiet room, and testing as close as I can to that scenario um, and putting it in play. And then um, I asked Brandy one time, my scores are going down. She said, kick up the number of tests, started doing two simulated a day doing uh, what's wrong or why wrong um, from the first one before I studied for this, before I took the second one and then did the why wrong afterwards and then went into the study group. You have to, for a short time, put in what you need to put in to get these tests done because it's going to change what you do business-wise in the long run, who you can help, not only your family, but who you can help out there in the community. And that's what we're here to do if you're with Prime America. We want to help everybody in the community to, to be properly protected and debt free. That's what we do. So thank you so much. Um, study wise, I can't thank you enough. As a matter of fact, I got my daughter next to me. She's getting ready to sit for one of her education tests. Nice. And I said, You need to come and listen and put this in play. And she's like, I hate you because it's late. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. Yes. Thank awesome. you very much, Brandy. Uh, it, it's truly, guys, it's it, it's truly our pleasure. Um, you know, when, when they say you follow your passion, right? You know, everything else kind of falls into place. And and that's exactly what we do. And and it and it's working with people like Jason and all of you guys and 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 others who, you know, we, we say it all the time that 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 the traditional system doesn't work, right? That you you do what you're supposed to do and and it falls short and you you're at your wit's end because you're just like i i do everything that you know the professionals tell me to do and it doesn't work and so we have to adjust our strategy and and for a lot of us that's a, that's a huge struggle 
is letting go of the traditional ways, even though they might not work for you. And, you know, in particular, it's letting go of those strategies and, and, and really trusting somebody else to guide you in a completely different way of learning, especially when learning is your environment. And, and Jason, I just want to say thank you for trusting us with that different way of learning. We super, super appreciate you guys. All right, you guys ready? We're going to do these test taking techniques, right? We are going to do these test taking techniques. We are going to show you now, like I'm going to, I'm going to be real. The, what we talk about today is hold on. I'm working on something here, guys. I'm working on something. Why can't I click on the video? I know. Let's see. Um, but what one of the things that we are going going to talk about today, it's like my clicker thing is not clicking. Isn't that weird? Um, is we are going to show you guys basically like the power of observations, right? Looking beyond what you need or looking beyond your your content, if you will, right? And really, really looking past all of that and doing what we call the Kona catchphrase, right? We're gonna start taking a look at what the words mean to us outside of the stuff that we're studying. And I think that for so many of us, we get caught up in like, well, for instance, we're, you know, I'm just gonna tie it to securities because that's what we, we, we study here, but this applies to anything that you're studying. We forget to look at what these words mean to us outside of securities. And, and sometimes when we miss that very simple connection, we get too caught up in what we know and don't know about the content and we miss the point. Guys, you guys are going to see an example right now of answering questions without having securities knowledge. It's just the power of observations. So what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to put in the chat. I'm going to read the questions. I'm going to, um, I'm going to read the answers first. You guys are going to put in the chat what you think are some key words. And, and some of us default to the securities vocabulary, which is fine, but I wanna challenge you to go a little bit further and just go, hmm, maybe I do see that pattern. Maybe I do see that, you know, maybe there's two words in, in two, I mean, one word and two answer choices, hmm, right? Maybe you're seeing that, oh yeah, every time I see this, this is that. That's what I want you guys to focus on. Don't focus on securities vocabulary, just focus on the words, right? Though sometimes I do joke around that focus is like the biggest F word in my house, but let's get started. Oh my gosh, forgot to read, forgot to cover that question. Guys, and if you guys are wondering why we do answers first here, look, have you ever started a question with which of the following? Look, you guys are studying a massive amount of content. Which of the following doesn't point you in any direction at all, right? But if I can look at this and go signs and billboards, radio and television broadcasts, telephone or audio recording, or all of these, well, now it's painting a picture. It's painting, a, it's giving me a direction of where to go. I know the file folder I need to pull in my brain to go, okay, what are we talking about here? And that is why answers choices are looking at your answers are so vital, especially as you guys are moving through these securities exams, because you're gaining knowledge with each one, right? All right. So like somebody, uh, somebody's putting in the chat ads, advertising, right? That's exactly what these are. Signs and billboards, ads, radio and television broadcasts, more than likely <laughs> ads, right? Uh, telephone or audio recordings, ads. And then we have all of these, right? So would it be okay to say, judging by what you guys are putting in the chat here, that that's the one that's different, right? Now, let me ask you guys this. I see billboards, I see communication for sure. Do all of these, does all of these make sense? What I mean by that is, could that possibly be an answer? telephone and audio, radio and television, signs and billboards, do they all sound like they could be something similar? Exactly, right? They do. I see you guys agree with me in the chat, right? So that's a huge connection, right? So now let's look at the, let's, now let's look at the question, right? 
C does have or, huh? <laughs> like that has an and, that has an and, and that one has an or, <laughs> right? All right. So let's look at the question. FINRA considers which of these to, which of the following to be retail communications? Now, guys, I've probably seen you guys write communication in that chat like three times. Somebody just came in right now and said retail communication. That's exactly retail communication. We talked about these being ads. We hope that a lot of people are seeing or hearing these things, right? So my answer would be, why isn't it all of these? Boom. Boom. Right? And there we go. All right. Great job, guys. Thank you guys for participating in the chat. I appreciate that. All right. Moving on to the next one. We have A, Securities and Exchange Commission agents, B, Prime Brokers, C, Brokers, D, Dealers. Any observations? Broker equals agent. Oh, you're right. Broker agent capacity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. C and D are opposite. Um, these act as agents. Dealer markup, dealer markdown. I'm going to put cars, <laughs> right? Um, realtors, right? Real estate. Good job. Ooh, A has my and in it. A does have and in it. And we are talking about- We the love an and. Are they called, are, are they called, the SEC, are they called agents? Commission. I don't know. Um, Commission. Oh, because it says secure. Well, here- it's a different type of commission. Yeah, the SEC is called the Securities and Exchange. It's kind of like uh, the commish. Yeah, commissioners. Yeah, it's like commissioners. Exactly. Like Commissioner Gordon from Batman. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Ooh, there it is. There I see it. The fact that this says prime brokers and this just it says, says brokers, brokers, dude. Prime time broker. Now check this out. We already it's probably opposite. Well, yeah, we said that B and C are, I mean, I'm sorry, we said, we already said that C and D are opposite. And now we said that B and C are opposite. C was in both those opposites. We call that the double dip. The double dip. That's a double dip. That means two patterns have one single uh, common answer, right? Yes. We have uh, a commonality right, between two patterns that we observed. So that makes that the double dip nine times out of 10. That's going to be your answer. Not all the time, just like Lysol. <laughs> right. So let's look at the question and see if we're right. Right? That's what I like to do. I like to play the see if you're right game. Okay. Blank are individuals or firms that act as liaisons between the buyer and the seller and take a commission for doing so. They thus act as agents and their transactions are known as agency transactions. That's like straight That's a lot up. Of words. Yes. And that is straight up what Jason Croft said, you know, our recent. Yeah. Our pather, pather. Onto the series 63. Yes. That's exactly how he related C. And we were right. There you go. Look, it, it was already answered before you even saw the question, guys. That's the power of the techniques. Yeah. I wasn't even here for Jason to speak. Right. But I already can tell you that's what he did. Yep. Yep. Make it simple. Keep it simple. All right. Hey guys, did you miss me? She's all yes. they're all no, it went faster. That's not <laughs> exchange traded notes, <laughs> exchange traded funds, leveraged ETFs, a unit investment trust. Notes. Yeah, good one. ETF. ETF. We got I mean, I was going to say there's two ETFs as far as I see there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Leverage. Right. A is different. Well, yes, I guess you can say A is different because it's talking about trust. Yeah. Okay. There's two ETFs. It's very much a lot like, ooh, these are opposite. C and D are opposites. Would it be a double dip? Good. Maybe. It could, I mean, this is literally leverage ETFs and exchange traded funds. 
ones is just an example of a general ETF, right? General ETF is just general, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then leverage ETF is a particular. Correct. Correct. I don't know if that means anything. So, ooh, notes is related to bonds. Or how about we say like debt, right? When, have you guys ever uh, heard of promissory notes? Or I don't know why I always remember this from either Monopoly or from yes, owe you notes. the payday. Yes, the game, the board game payday. They always talk about promissory notes. Yes. And, and that's a good way to, to like uh, find a connection, right? Notes equals bonds equals debt. Correct. That's the connections that we're talking about, guys, that you should write down. If you didn't know that connection, I would write that down and memorize that. Dude, not everybody remembers payday. Right on. Okay, yeah. well, let's read the question. <laughs> Which of the following <laughs> products is a type of debt security? All right, guys, what's the answer? What's the answer? We know this one. We know this one. Don't think, don't think. The same people that remember payday or the same people that remember phones used to be on the wall. That is legit true. Boom. That's right, guys. Look at that. There you go. That was awesome. <laughs> She's all I remember those two. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. You go only as far as the cord will let you. That's right. Pay the broker dealer a forwarding fee. Pay the clearing agent a transmission fee. C, pay the issuer a mailing fee. D, nothing. Uh, a is a huh? Yeah. B is definitely different. A forwarding fee. I forward that email to you and now I have to charge you. Right. I didn't want to, but I have to. And then all of these are talking about paying fees, right? Uh, Brandy's going with a B on the huh? Uh, on the B. Yeah, I don't. I, I mean, I agree. My answer is D. I don't remember that right from my studying. I guess it would be, I guess my, here's my question. Who is paying, who is paying the fee? Yeah. And uh, is this fair to say if like I'm studying, right? And I don't remember any of these. Um, and then I have a nothing. Is that sometimes like a clue? Yeah, because from my perspective, right? I'm looking at these and I've heard of broker dealers, clearing agents and issuers, of course. I've heard of those, those people, right? Right. I've heard of them too. And I've heard of paying fees, but specific fees like forwarding fees, transmission fees, and mailing fees, that I've never heard Like of. it doesn't stand out in my brain. Like, so my gut feelings, like if I, they're not standouts to me for my studying, I'm going with nothing. Right. I, I, I would go with that. Like my, like if you guys have a, if, if your gut is screaming D because it's different or because nothing else seemed familiar, 100% you should go with it. Like 100% go with that because you just might be right boom without even reading the question if it's a not a standout and you don't remember it in your studying the wrong reaction to that by the way even on the exam is to go oh my gosh i don't remember studying that oh, oh it's not in the study guide oh they don't left that out on their videos oh i can't remember all that guys those are all decoys yep they're all made to make you panic and pick the wrong answer exactly a customer of a broker dealer who holds her shares with a firm in the street name must do which of the following in order to receive corporate communications such as annual reports and proxy materials. Guys, this question is so good because, and, and this is one of the reasons why I pulled it, is for all the techniques that we just saw. But the other reason why I pulled this question is because it doesn't, it's it's not set up in the way we study it, right? We, we have never said point blank, point blank. Yeah, I was thinking point break. We have never said point blank that that you, ha you don't have to pay any fees for the broker dealer to forward your stuff, okay? We've never said it that way. But what we have said is that it's the broker dealer's responsibility to forward you the information. So do you guys see how this is exactly the same thing, but not the same thing? This is a classic way that it's presented on the test. There you go. Yeah, and think about this. Let's not, let's cover all the answers. And if you saw this question first with no answers and you read it, not like we teach you, how many of you would have gone over this question so many times? Man, what did they have to do? And got lost. I don't remember having to do anything. Do we have and to then Brandy freaked to out that? I don't remember that. Kona never showed us any of that stuff. I don't know. 
Again, that's the power of these techniques we're trying to teach you guys. Master that so you don't have that. Exactly. D, it, it typically involves securities issued in a country over, <laughs> issued in a country other than the United States. C, it only involves cases where securities from a particular country or re region are negatively impacted by an electoral result. B, it can be associated with the changes of an instability in both local and national governments. A, its effects are not uniform on all securities issued in a given country or region. All, someone put all, not all associated. You know what fascinates me about this? And you guys are all, like everything that you guys have said in the chat, right? In the, the typically only associated um not all right um impacted by those are all very great words do you guys know that you can get the answer just based purely on those underlined and circled words in fact the this exercise usually fascinates me because there are so many times where I don't read all of these things thoroughly and I pull the question because it's perfect. And, you know, and I, I guess the answer, like I would, you guys, based on my techniques, right. And it's right. Not to brag, but it's right. And then Andy comes in and reads these things and it's like, oh, that's what this said. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, uh, I know you guys are saying D is flexible and it's very true, but there's one thing that stands out about C. And if you guys notice, I underlined everything except for one word on here. Exactly. So I can tell you if I wonder if this is a not true. I don't know about all of those other words. I'm like not focused. I'm really tired. It's 1032 at night. I, I'm ready to go to bed. But there is only one answer choice that has only in it. And that's typically not true, right? So we're looking maybe for an accept. I don't know about you guys, but to avoid reading everything like this, that's what I'm going to zero in on. I could be wrong. I see one answer that has only probably an accept question. If it is, that's my answer. I'm at least going to start there to try to avoid reading everything. Because I don't want to read this and it's giving my head a headache. Exactly. Which of the following is not true? What? Of political risk. Guys, literally, that's what I did. I read it affects are not uniform. It can be associated. It only involves. It typically involves which of the following is not true. Clicked on the only. And what do you know? That was the answer. I did not read anything else. I read nothing else. That was too many words for my moment. <laughs> right. Does that make sense? Of all, there was too many words for my moment. <laughs> And let's, I mean, let's be honest. Sometimes we're in these quizzes, like your brain's already doing gymnastics and you can't keep this right. You can't keep it straight. Nah. You're like, oh man. Exactly. All right. They all look good. They all do. It's the last one. D, business risk. C, inflation risk. B, interest rate risk. A, market risk. They are all risks. Yes. That's a great. I know that that might have seemed condescending, but trust me when I say that is a very powerful observation. It's uh, almost like- C and D are unsystematic, um, non-systematic. B and C are the same. Uh, and then someone said Miri. Brandy said Miri. Um, so Miri is just a Kaplan thing. I'm going to say that right now. Miri is just a Kaplan thing. I mean, in this particular case, it does work. But I'm going to zero in on um, D is a specific problem. Is that this one is the one that's different because it's specific. See, market is what we call market. Market, market. That's is all everything. the stores and all the businesses and the entire country. Right. Interest rates. I mean, everything is affected by an interest rate, right? Right. Preach. Okay. Preach, inflation, say less. Inflation, everything is affected by inflation. Preach, say, re say less. But business sounds like it's just a business. That's just, that's like very specific. That's like Chuck E. Cheese is going out of business. Exactly. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? That's like Sears went out of business. The very specific business in the whole, the whole fish pond. Right. Now, one particular fish. A lot of you did put systematic versus non-systematic. And that is definitely securities vocabulary. But I was trying to get away from that. Remember what we said, I said when we first started this, right? Let's not think of securities vocabulary. Let's pay attention to what these words are saying outside of our studying, right? Market. The markets, how are the markets doing today? Interest rates, interest rates, inflation, prices, business, a business. Three of them affect everyone. Exactly. Only one affects one. Exactly. Which of the following investment risks is not considered systematic risk? I'm going to go with not a system or I'm going to go with the word specific. Do you guys see what we did there? I took it. Yes, you guys were not wrong, but I took it out of securities and that's what i need sometimes i need you guys to focus on take it out of securities take it out of the context that you're studying and just look at the words for what they are and what they mean to you outside of the content that you're studying so so you know um the the person that's studying for her you know her education license right now her she's taking a test that's what I want you to do. Take it out of the context of the topic that you're studying and just look at the words as they're given and what they mean to you outside of your vocabulary. Most of the time you guys get that wrong because you overcomplicate. Yeah. 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 Keep it simple. Keep it simple, man. Keep it simple. It's easy when you look at it that way. And you're probably going, Brandy, but it always seems easy when you do it. Because I, I search for the easy. Why am I going to make... Look, guys. I have made it a point to search for the easy because I was sick of complicating it. Why does it have to be that hard? Because somebody told me it is. I don't believe you. I don't believe you at all. I'm going to try to simplify this thing. Boom. That's where I live. Do you know what gives it? Do you know what makes it difficult? Is you giving the power to it and making it difficult. Does that make sense? If you give it that power, it will be difficult and hard to understand. If you take away that power and you convince yourself this is easy and you just kind of look at these answers and questions just like you just saw, you rob the power of this being a very difficult thing to do. Guys, there's no hidden words in these things. They're all words that as adults, as people over the age of 18, we all know these words. We've all used these words in our, in our everyday vocabulary. Look for that. Slow down. Step back. And just sometimes you just got to breathe a little bit and just look at what it's asking you. And you're done. That's it. All right. Well, much like that. So is the studying brew. Man, <laughs> where did the time go? That was so, that was over before I even started. I know. Whew. Oh. I wasn't here for it, but thank you, Jason Croft, for being on. And uh, I'll be watching the replay in a minute to hear all the wise words you passed on to everybody. So yes. That way they can get it done, too. We appreciate every single one of you. Remember, it, the only way this works for you, the only way you're going to have success with this is if you practice, practice, practice. Go get yourself a quiz. Be consistent. I know it's different, but so is every skill set you'll ever learn in life. Yes. And the only way you get better at it is just going with the process. Submit to the process. Have grace. Enjoy. Have fun. Go do it. Until then, guys, tomorrow we have all those live sessions. We've got yeah. studying brew tomorrow night, testing yeah. techniques. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your friend's face. That's all I know. And keep that positive mental attitude. PMA, everybody. Have a great night. Guys, thank you so much for being on. We super appreciate you. Don't forget to practice the Kona catchphrase in your next quiz and for your next quizzes. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great one.